Hi YouTubers, Eclectic Lil here. Today I'm going to be discussing uh, three synthetic plastics. Celluloid, Bakelite, and Lucite. Um, I'm going to be testing some pieces for Bakelite. And I got this Simichrome polish. And you use a Q-tip. And basically you put very little on the piece and you rub it. If it turns yellow, then you have Bakelite. This is pink, and you don't need to use uh, very much. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you, um, uh, you know, the pieces. So I'm going to test this um, right here. And uh, you just get a little bit on your Q-tip. And... Uh, you just rub it on there and you could see that it turned yellow and that is Bakelite so now I'm going to get um, another piece And these are earrings and I'm going to give you some information about the three types of plastics and I'm going to show you uh, the three types of plastics now that's turned uh, yellow so that one also is Bakelite um, let me get another q-tip and let me wipe that off. And then, um, let's see. I'll get another item here. Yeah. And uh, that's turning yellow. That also is yellow. So that also is Bakelite. These are old shoe clips. You put them on their shoes. And that's not, you know, changing. So that's not. It looks like Bakelite, but it's not. Okay, so let me try another one. And Bakelite. Um, smells similar to formaldehyde um, sometimes you could like rub it and uh, see if you could get the formaldehyde smell on it um, I did it on um, you could do that for uh, celluloid you could rub it vigorously and if it smells like camphor or um, Bakelite smells similar to uh, formaldehyde. So let me test these two, and then I'll show you the three types of plastic, plastic and give you some information about them. Mm. 
No. That's not changing. Okay, so we saw what happens when you put the uh, Cinechrome polish on. And if it turns yellow, like I said, um, it's a uh, Bakelite. So... These are celluloid, so then these were Bakelite, and then you have Lucite. Let's see if you can see those good. Okay, so there we go. Just seeing if you guys could see those, all right? All right, so celluloid, uh, it's one of the first synthetic plastics ever created, uh, ever created, and it was created in 1863. And um, you could do a smell test. You could either run it under hot water and smell it. Um, if you smell like a camphor uh, smell, or you could rub it vigorously where you create heat and smell it. Um, or you could smell a ping pong ball. Um, they would use uh, celluloid for like jewelry or dolls back in the day. Um, it's uh, celluloid could be transparent and is flammable. Then you have the Bakelite, which I just tested. That was developed by a chemist, a uh, Leo Bakeland in 1907, and it smells similar to formaldehyde. And most uh, often, Bakelite is found um, like in a yellow, green, or red. And then this here is Lucite, which is a resin, and it's clear. And that was created by DuPont in 1937. Um, most knobs and handles are made from Lucite. Um, it's pretty much scratch resistant. It lasts a long time um, without noticeable scratching anyway. But so those are your three um, synthetic plastics. So your celluloid, your Bakelite, which I use the uh, Simichrome polish on. Um, and again, if it turns yellow, then it's Bakelite. And then you have your Lucite. As you can tell, it's clear. Here's a button. And then um, a bracelet. So I hope you learned a little bit about the three types of synthetic plastic. So please hit the thumbs up button, the like button, and subscribe. And I put out uh, jewelry and thrift haul videos once a week. And throw in videos like this now and then. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.